Welcome to a mushroom meditation with the red belted conch or the red belted mushroom. Tiaga. Fomatopsis pinnacola. Polyporus pinnacola. Find yourself here at the edge of the most magnificent temperate forest, moist and warm. The forest beckons you. Before you lay moss covered trees. untouched for years. This forest trees laying down and standing strong. Green, fresh, and full of oxygen, it beckons you. You find a small trail, perhaps an animal trail. For in this place, not many humans go. The trail, soft, warm, and red, covered in pine needles. You make your way. The ground moist and yet warm enough. And so you take off your shoes and you feel the earth under your feet. Time slow to arrive into this ancient forest. Step by step, one foot in front of the other, feeling moist earth under your feet. Slowly you step out of time. The sun shining in a golden light through the trees giving everything a magical hue. Tall canopies rise above you, sheltering you. As you reach out to feel the beautiful pine tree, the rough bark, the smell of vanilla, calling you to come closer to this tree, to breathe with this tree, to be near this tree, and you feel moving your fingers along the bark of this tree, feeling the rough and the softer places and the crevices in between as you wonder what kind of creatures live inside. You look up as this tree towers above you 
standing strong and tall here for hundreds of years if you listen it tells you a story long long ago when not so many humans walked this area and you feel called to breathe move closing closer to this tree breathing in the sweet smell dipping your nose deep in between the pieces of bark in this big wide wise pine tree and you rest there for a moment as all falls away. The regular life, the outside world, as you feel this forest envelop you and hold you, bringing you deeper and deeper within your own being. depth and the mysteries of the forest call you as slowly oh so slowly you take one foot after the other in front of one another feeling the moist earth under your feet As you hear the animals, you watch and you listen, the colors, all of the shades of green, bright, beckoning you deeper and deeper into this peace, into this forest. all falls away and you feel yourself connected to the earth step by step to the plants that seem to be breathing with you and looking more and more green and alive with each step you take you hear the rustle the chipmunk the birds singing lightly in the distance all at peace. As you move deeper and deeper into this beautiful place alive with life and oxygen and you come to a fallen tree blocking the path covered with mosses you reach out to feel these recognizing as you look closer different varieties all there living together different shapes and colors of green you're called to stop and feel with your fingers these mosses looking 
closer and closer at them. The little ferny parts, the way that they grow so slow as if they don't ever grow at all. And yet they blanket this lush and beautiful world, this mysterious untouched forest. You see the sun reflect, glisten and sparkle on a few drops of dew. And you look closer and closer till you see the whole forest reflected in that one drop of dew glistening like a jewel beckoning you to connect with the mysteries of this forest. Completely at peace. No one else around, just you and the trees and the moss, the grass, plants. We wonder at the wealth of medicinal gifts that live in this forest. As you make your way over the log, continuing on your path, your eye drawn to the different species of ground cover and bushes, and small trees, everything with their own shade of green, perhaps tinged with red, the forest in a beautiful dress, moist and alive, full of life. You make your way, feeling the earth, with every step, your toes reaching for the earth, a gentle blanket of fallen needles paving your way, beckoning you deeper and deeper into this experience. Something is calling to you. You see something in the distance. Something reflecting the light. Something bright and white. Tiaga, the mushroom. big wide stump lies ahead just to the side of this animal trail just sitting there ancient what stories that stump could tell of all that lives in the magic of this forest and there, on the side of the stump, a big, fat tiaga, red belted conch, red belted mushroom that grows out of the death of this old 
forgotten tree. This fungus makes its home. This fungus that finds its way into the trees. Perhaps a tree that's been wounded by a careless axe or by nature. Another tree falling on it. This mushroom finds its way there, growing. Powerful medicine from that wound. And even after the tree falls, this mushroom still lives each year, adding a band, perennial mushroom growing thicker and woodier and more red and brown, the beautiful color as you approach this big, fat, beautiful Tiaga mushroom. You see the red and the brown glistening like the most beautiful painted sunset. And the white band reflecting the light, calling you. You feel in your heart there's something here for you. You feel that this is medicine. Perhaps why you came and were drawn deep into this forest. Something calls to you in your heart, a feeling like coming home, a feeling of being cared for by this earth, by this mother earth, this beautiful expression of nature, this mushroom calls to you. This mushroom which grows eating away and carving out areas for voles and birds and even bears. This mushroom creates home. This mushroom is calling you home. This mushroom is reminding you that here on this earth, in the arms of Mother Earth, Goddess Gaia, you are cared for. and your heart goes out to this mushroom and this mushroom calls to you and you wonder if you could take this mushroom home but you don't want to disturb the forest. And you move to this mushroom, you approach it slowly in awe. This fungus that grows into something strong and woody, almost like the tree itself but the tree isn't even living anymore. And the mushroom lives on. The mushroom represents the fight for life, the strength of the fight, of the immune system, of humanity, claiming survival even after the life is gone of the tree. This mushroom lives on, decomposing, returning this tree to the earth, completing the life cycle process, cleansing, regenerating, and releasing old cells. And all of a sudden you understand and you know this mushroom can also do this, perhaps it's being offered to you right now, to do this for your very own body. 
perhaps this mushroom would like to come home with you to be your medicine to heal and regenerate what's toxic and dead within you the cells that are no longer serving you and you reach out to this mushroom and you feel this mushroom and you feel how smooth and soft and shiny tapping it with your finger nail it incredible surface to it protected and yet underneath soft and raw kind of like you kind of like all you've had to do to survive in this world going up against all of the exposure toxins overstimulation technology you wonder at this mushroom with awe you feel an affinity with this mushroom and you feel that it's why you came here today and so you ask you sit there called to just be on the ground with this stump with this mushroom in awe and wonder the gift of this medicine right here for you and so you ask mother earth and the tree and the forest and the mushroom are you here for me Did you somehow grow this hard woody surface and soft inner spongy flesh just for me? Is it okay for me to take you home with me for medicine? And all of a sudden you smell, you smell the forest, you smell the, the mushroom, the fresh fungus, the moss, the oxygen, the trees, it's, it washes over you like a soft breeze, a warm, soft breeze enveloping you, surrounding you with warmth. You're overcome by the aroma of this mushroom and you feel this mushroom all the way around this hard outer part so beautiful and red and brown on the top and underneath soft spongy and you think maybe this mushroom will just break off for you come home with you as it seems to be offering itself to you like what this mushroom really wants more than anything is to be medicine for humanity like its whole purpose but the mushroom will not come it holds tight woody like the tree clinging like the force of life allowing the human to survive the onslaught of modern life this fungus clings to life to this tree and all of a sudden you feel in your pocket your your little knife and you ask is it is it okay can I cut you away and take you home and again 
the wind, the smell, overcome with the moist, damp magic of this forest. And you feel in your heart that there's nothing more that this mushroom would like than to come home and be medicine for humanity. And your heart wells up with joy and love, the feeling of being cared for by this world, the red, beautiful brown color is welling up in your heart as you feel your heart beat strong, healthy, circulation, red, like this red belted conch. And so, gently stroking the conch, holding it firmly, you begin to cut it away from the tree and at first it seems like it does not want to come. But right there in the center, cutting away the middle part, it automatically easily just gives way and falls into your hand and warm as if it's been baked in the sun alive and the smell you stick it up to your nose and you breathe this mushroom smell and you hold this mushroom close to your heart as you feel yourself coming home into your heart This mushroom making you a home, just like it does for the little animals. Making you a home in your heart. Feeling loved and cared for. That Mother Earth, Mother Nature has everything you need. Offered up. Wholly and completely. Unconditionally. And your heart wells up with love you hold this warm, alive, magical fungus to your chest and breathe. And you seem to be transported for a moment. The air fresher, more clean. Green, greener, more green. All stops and yet something spins and you feel that all of a sudden you are in another world. A journey with this mushroom to the ancient times. before the humans moved in this region. The pristine, untouched nature. The original codes of this beautiful goddess Gaia planet held right there in this mushroom in your heart. are just there for a moment, transported, breathing in, feeling that the air is more fresh and clean than you ever, air you've ever breathed before. And you breathe deep, deep into your cells. You feel this air going all the way to the furthest reaches of your body, deep into your way down to your toes and your fingertips, to your brain, knowing that this mushroom sends healing, cleansing, regenerative, rejuvenative, 
detoxifying properties easily, harmoniously, and with joy throughout your whole body, and you cannot wait to experience the medicine of this mushroom. Just waiting here for you. Called you to this place. Miles and miles it called you. Deep into the forest it called you. And now you know why. So you cradle this mushroom as you return your knife to your pocket. And you hold this mushroom to your heart as you begin to make your way back out of the forest, just taking your time, recognizing that all is still and quiet. Still the birds sing, but in gentler voices, as if all is connected, all is peace, all is one. Perhaps part of the message of this mushroom. That no matter where you go, what you do, the medicine will find you. Medicine, the connection, the oneness, what you need to heal is there for you. And in this awe and wonder, this mystical revelation, you gradually make your way back through the forest, your gift in tow, held close to your heart. You take your time enjoying every step and every breath. As you breathe, you feel that you are breathing in life force itself through your skin, porous like the mushroom. You're connected to every living thing in purity, in health, in truth. And you step one foot in front of the other, taking your time Enjoying every breath, fresh oxygen delivered to the furthest reaches, the deepest, darkest places, the deepest places of old stuck energy and trauma in your body now rejuvenated, refreshed, alive, healed by this sweet, soft, but hard and protected, magical, fungal mushroom growing on the ancient trees, alive or dead, it carries on the wisdom of these ancient trees and now and take it home with you. You have been gifted the ancient wisdom. These trees standing for hundreds of years, holding the mysteries of the ancient times covered with moss, species that have been around beyond before. Time a memorial beyond what we can comprehend these mosses these ancient trees and this mushroom the mushroom with you is bringing with you the purification of this ancient forest this fresh moist beautiful regenerative air home with you no matter where you go, this pristine and ancient wisdom, this 
untouched forest goes with you. And you slow your pace, just taking your sweet time. But you see that the sun is angling through the forest, telling you that the day is coming to a close. And the forest is going to sleep. It's time for you to return to your life, but you'll never forget this magic revelation, this moment, this fresh, clean air, this rejuvenation, this connection to all that lives. The definition of Gaia is the earth and all living beings, which includes you. And now you remember. You took the time to play your part, to be present, to connect it, and you were gifted this generous, beautiful gift, this mushroom that said, please, please choose me to go home with you today, to love you, and this medicine to care for you, cleanse, purify, remind you that you are supported in this fight for life you are connected to this life force that holds all. It's yours. And the mushroom reminds you that it's safe and you're held and loved and cared for. And you can come home to the earth just like the little animals that are made homes by this mushroom. And you breathe deep, deep peace. Deeper peace and quiet connection than you've ever felt before. As you finally make your way back to the edge of the forest, the sun golden on the horizon. Back to where you started the perfect time. And slowly keep this mystical and magical feeling, this slow pace, this feeling being blessed by spirit through nature, this spiritual experience, revelation through nature. You know spirit lives, God lives the mother cares for you. You have your prize, your gift, this devotion, this fungus, so excited to be your medicine. And together you journey to your home. As you come into your home, you feel more at home than you felt ever before, like you're safe here cared for. And slowly you begin to prepare this mushroom, first cutting it into pieces. It's very spongy. It, it's woody on the edge, but spongy on the inside and stringy, like fibrous. No wonder this mushroom is so good at cleansing out excess growth, tumors, and inflammation, infection, bacterias and viruses. And so you find that it's easiest just to use your fingers to rip it into pieces. And it seems to really like it. The mushroom says, please put the knife down. So you gradually just take your time pulling the pieces apart. Just wonder the unfathomable power of this plant for healing, this 
very strange, fibrous, stringy, spongy, yet hard on the outside, protected. And you cover this plant with water and gradually raise the temperature. Do you watch as the water begins to simmer and gently, gently boil and simmer, becoming darker and darker, the plant relinquishing its medicine into the water. Its devotion, its love, its power, and the smell of the forest that held you in that moment when this mushroom offered itself to you is now surrounded you again. Your home smells like the forest, like the mushrooms, like the damp, moist earth, and you're transported again. As you await your medicine, simmering, extracting, plenty of time, there's plenty, plenty of time. One of the messages of this mushroom, who's been here from the ancient times, yet medicine for the future healing of technological influence. Amazing. Carries the ancient stories of the ancient trees, more ancient than the ancient, most ancient trees and the ancient moss, and yet a medicine of the future. One of the symptoms, one of the energies is just takes you right out of time, slows everything down, and you feel at one, at home, in the moment. As you breathe in the fumes of the tea cooking and steaming, you're transported back to the forest, to this mystical and magical experience, the gratitude for this earth, for this mother holding you, offering you this medicine. And you offer the gratitude back to her and to this mushroom. As your tea is ready, you pour off just a little bit and gently sip the strong, woodsy, earthy flavor, packed full with powerful nutrients, glucans, germanium, and antioxidants, and triggering your immune system to, your lymph system to activate your immune system, to bring oxygen to the furthest reaches, just like it felt like to breathe that fresh untouched, clean, oxygenated air, that ancient forest. You drink in this ancient forest, drink in this medicine, you feel yourself coming deeper and deeper into present time and out of time. And the most ancient truths and the most future mysteries and Everything is still. Everything is one to breathe. Knowing that every breath now brings more and more oxygen capacity, more and more healing and detox, cleansing and purifying the death that you've been holding within you, the trauma, the sickness, the stagnancy, the cancer cells, all of it has got to go because you're here to live, thrive. 
You've got your medicine. And you're held and loved on this earth. No matter the onslaught of the toxin, energetic, technological environment can't touch you. Your heart is full of love, shielded like the mushroom. Beautiful shield reflecting and refracting all toxicity while you can say stay soft inside, sensitive. Your greatest gift. And you feel yourself resting as you come to the end of the day. Relieved, nourished, cleansed and purified, held in love. Everything you need is here for you. And you decide to arrive more fully and completely at home, right here in the moment on earth, to commit to this experience with your ally. This beautiful red banded conch, red banded mushroom tiaga. Fomatopsis spinacola. Your sweet friend. Devoted to bringing you home, cleansing the death, making room, and homes for the animals. Just taking a few deep breaths while you enjoy the effect of this mushroom tea, this beautiful gift of nature, knowing that you've connected with the most ancient tribes of this land, who've used this medicine for cleansing and purifying. You've used this medicine just like it creates oxygen in your body, helps oxygenate your cells. It also keeps the fire going. mushroom, the fire in your heart, used by the ancients to move their fire, keep their fire going, and in their pipe with their sacred tobacco to help it stay lit. It holds the fire because it holds the oxygen. And you breathe deep and deep peace in the knowing that you're held and loved in this experience on planet Earth. Welcome to be here. You feel the devotion of this mushroom, this wisdom of this fungus, the magical properties to heal, the most modern diseases. You feel deep peace in your heart as you complete your journey, storing away your tea, storing away the mushroom, knowing that it's in your heart, it'll always be there. A message that you are loved and held and welcome here on the earth. You are the gift, just like this mushroom wanted to be the gift for you. And so just taking a few deep breaths, completing your journey, taking your time, bringing with you this peace, this new connection to this time outside of time, ancient wisdom and future knowledge. Connected to all that lives, and the peace and harmony of that pristine and untouched forest. Just bring all of that into your life as you can allow over time, just gradually more and more, reminding yourself of this permission for this deep presence 
this out of time feeling. Everything slows. You're at one. The green is more green. The air is more clear. To the present. Perhaps more than you've ever been. Just taking a few deep breaths, becoming aware of your physical body, bringing with you this peace. Wiggling your fingers and toes, and when you're ready, go ahead and complete your mushroom meditation. Thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful journey back home. And thank you to Yaga. <laughs>